Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Today I'm going to make a Nyonya dish or some uh, this culture is also can be called Peranakan. Now it's actually a, a very unique culture in Malaysia uh, from many years ago where the uh, there's one princess coming from uh, China and then uh, get settled down in Malaysia and married a local uh, people. So the descendant are then actually called Nyonya for the ladies and the Baba from the, uh, for the guys. So it's also, this is actually a call Peranakan culture, yeah? So um, this is a very uh, common and very popular Peranakan dish called Ayam Ponte, yeah? Ayam Ponte. So what do we need here? There's actually, there are, there's actually a lot of uh, different recipes from different Nyonya families. Now the recipes I'm using today is actually coming from one of my Nyonya friends. This is how she learned to do it from her grandma. Uh, but of course, I actually tweak the steps a little bit because um, some, of, some of the steps actually can be simplified. Yeah? So uh, I have here about two uh, free-range chicken thigh cut into uh, big chunks and few pieces of potato skin removed. Now, the thing about potato is that it, it gets oxidized very easily. So after you remove the skin, always put it under water. And then the, the, the main flavor for this dish will be coming from this, the shallot. Extremely important. So you want to put in lots and lots of shallot, yeah? So usually to cook this kind of chicken, I will probably only uh, put one or two shallot, but for the, for the purpose of Ayan Ponte, this particular dish, I put at least about uh, double or triple more. Then we need a bit of uh, garlic. This is approximately one and a half tablespoon of Gula Melaka. Uh, Gula Melaka will really give you some very uh, enhanced flavor. If you, but if you can't find Gula Melaka, then you can also replace it with either brown sugar or white sugar. And this is Taochu, and this is the salted one, yeah, the salted ferm uh, fermented soya bean. Now, the, there's one very interesting thing that she told me. She said, this dish cannot add salt, therefore she, she will always add more Taochu. And of course, Taochu is very salty. We choose the salted type of Taochu, and this is why she will add more. Of course, it will give, number one, it will give him more flavor. And uh, number two, it will actually also give it the saltiness for this dish. Well, I will still add a little bit of salt <laughs> uh, just to balance the, the, the flavor. But uh, this is approximately close to two tablespoons of Taochu, yeah? Here. Now, this is optional, but I would like to always marinate the chicken a little bit with a little bit of uh, my favorite fish sauce. Okay, let it marinate for, for a couple of minutes while we go and blend uh, the onions, shallot I mean. According to my Nyonya friend, she actually said the best is using the uh, mortar and pestle. Yeah, the mortar and pestle to really tumbo, to really tumbo out the, uh, the, the onion oil. Yeah? That is the best. Uh, uh, Appa is not that um, hard working. I'm just going to blend it. But I do believe her that if you can use the mortal and pestle, the flavor will be even better. Okay, let's start cooking. Actually, I will use onion oil to start with. This will make this dish even more fragrant. I always got onion oil at home. So uh, if you want to know how to make onion oil, you can also uh, search for my video, yeah? How come it's so bright? Yep, now it's better. 
Now we are going to use onion oil to fry onion. <laughs> Of course, you have a little bit of garlic inside. Let me on my cooking food. Now, you want to saute this for a couple of minutes. Uh, I think I, a little bit, I need a little bit more oil here. You really want to saute this because the flavor of the onion oil is really what makes this dish very special, of course, together with the tau chu lah. Right, let's saute this for a couple of minutes until it is probably about 30% uh, brownish, then we will continue. So you start seeing it becoming, started to become brownish. Tune down the fire. And let's add in the tau chu. The tau chu can get burned quite easily, so tune down the fire. Ooh, super fragrant. Every time I use Tao Chiu, I thought of my mother and I thought of my grandma because this is actually a grandma flavor, yeah? Anything fermented, seriously, is um, a grandma flavor. A flavor that you get it from small. Make sure it's low heat. Huh? Slowly saute this. And then we can actually add in the chicken already. And also the potato. And you can now raise the heat to at least a medium. Mm. Super fragrance. Now we can actually add in some hot water. Let me get some hot water here. I forgot to pre-prepare the hot water. Put in about one bowl of hot water. Why hot water? Because uh, in our cooking, we always try not to reduce the heat, the temperature of your wok so that your cooking can be a lot more consistent. Right? Now I can put in the brown, the gula melaka. One round of light soya sauce. A bit of dark soya sauce. About one tablespoon. Maybe slightly more than one tablespoon. My personal favorite, I will put in some Saoxing wine. This is definitely optional. If you don't take alcohol, don't put Saoxing wine. Right. Give it a few stir. The potato will probably take at least 15 to 20 minutes, then only it will be cooked, yeah? So bring this to a boil and uh, cover it with a lid. Let it simmer under medium low heat for minimum 15 minutes. Actually, it's more for the potato to get cooked. Right, I extended the simmering time under a uh, low medium heat to uh, from 15 minutes to almost 20 minutes because I want to make sure the potato is fully cooked. As you can see from here, the broth has definitely reduced 
also means that um, the chicken has now nice and the, together with the potato is now nicely absorbed this particular gravy yeah mm. and you can see the great the gravy has already thickened up even even before i added any uh, uh cornstarch solution no need for that basically this is almost done what we only need now is to Taste it to, to and then see whether we need to add some salt and sugar to I don't have to add any more salt and sugar, it already has the right balanced flavor. Okay, now it's basically done. Right, so this is just my personal favorite. I will actually garnish it with a little bit of fresh coriander to give it some nicer color. And I was told by her that they like to eat ayam ponte together with sambal blachan. She told me these two comes together very well. Alright, so I hope you like my very simple nyonya dish today, ayam ponte. If you like my video, do share my video on, on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Fest fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.